So one more video. Um, in this case, Revel Revelation 118, King James Bible reads, if I can find it, it says in the King James Bible, I am that liveth, sorry, I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell, hell and death. So there you have, you have it. You know, Jesus has the keys of hell and death. But what do the new translations? They say death and Hades. Again, if you went preaching to someone and said, well, you're going to Hades, if you, unless you repent, and hopefully you don't go to Hades, right? Because I don't want to see anyone go to Hades. Well, you're giving something that's not uh, biblical, because if you look at Hades, um, a lot of it's ba based on mythology, and it's just not the same as hell. Now, it might have some of the same like characteristics of hell as far as that goes, but it's not the same. So for them to change Hades, to, they changed hell to Hades, is uh, one of those warnings, warnings, that it should be very clear something's wrong. New Living Translation decided to go with grave probably so they can get the copyright strike i mean copyright um so they can sell it so they switch it to grave again the new translations don't even agree with each other but they agree that they don't want hell in there and um even the new king james bible in this case takes out hell and puts hades so that's the thing why aren't these new tra why is it all that these new translations um, oh, yeah, because they say they found some older manuscripts that said Hades. Um, no, hell was bef before the idea of Hades. So hell was created for the devil and his angels, those that rebelled. Now, you don't see people say, well, Hades was created for the devil and his angels. No, you don't. And I know probably even most Christians would agree. And I say most Christians because most Christians aren't using the King James Bible in America, I don't think. So, how many times have, if you're going to church, hopefully you're going to church, or if, you know, you heard a sermon, maybe on the internet, and maybe you've heard it before, where, you know, hell was created for Satan and his angels. Also, you've heard preaching about warning people to go to hell, about how Jesus warned not to go to hell, that um, he'd rather have you cut off your hand and pluck out your eye and enter life maimed than go to hell where the fire is not going to be quenched, and the worm dieth not. Well, guess what? They take that part off the new translations too, where the worm dieth not. So that's an example where the worm dieth not shows that it's everlasting punishment, everlasting torment. So for those people that say, well, hell is not everlasting. Well, the Bible says it is, okay? The worm dieth not, meaning the worm's always going to be there because you're always going to be in hell if you go to hell. But God doesn't want any to perish, but all come to repentance. So he wants you to turn from your sin, and turn to God and start being obedient to God. So you have to follow God and be obedient. You can't just say, well, I believe in God. I'm going to do my own thing. I don't really care. I'm just going to do whatever I want. Well, that's not being obedient, right? You have to do what God wants. And in this case, in the New Translations, they don't want you to know about hell because a lot of people have that in them. Even when we're witnessing to children, you mention hell and you can see fear and they don't even want to mention what it is and they know what hell is the children um because i think god put it in their hearts and if you saw to these if you said to the same children what's hades they wouldn't know what hades is these little children were go you know trying to turn them to to jesus you know at a young age which is smart they wouldn't know what hades is but they knew what hell was so and i think you do too so this is um where they take out the part where it says that Jesus has the keys of hell and of death, and the new versions change that sometimes to grave or Hades, and they're wrong for doing that. So you've been warned, if you have one of these new translations, I'd say personally get rid of it, like toss it out, and start reading the King James Bible. So um, thanks for watching.